Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. To make this card I used the stamp sets, Animal Outing for the hippo and the inside for the leaf with the frog, that one. For the sentiment, the happy birthday, I used beautiful bouquet and I just used happy birthday. And for the surround, I used the label punch, which is this, and the stamp set that goes with it, and I used that image. Right, the cardstock you'll need, or I used, is a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths. Scored at four and one eighth, fold and a half and burnish, which I've already done for a change. Two pieces of white cardstock, one for the front and one for the inside, at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. A piece of scrap white cardstock for the label of sentiment. And I'm using this gingham paper, which is new in the occasional catalogue. This one is balmy blue. And here I use lemon and lime twist. It comes in six by six um, size and five colours. And there's grapefruit, grove, balmy blue, lemon and lime twist, highland heather, and I think it's pineapple punch. Are the other five colours or four colours so that and this needs to be two inches by five and six eighths yeah that's right no five and five eighths five and five eighths so it's two inches wide five and five eighths long and that will sit on get one. That will just sit there. Okay, you'll also need a bit of this. It's in the occasional catalogue. It reminds me of shoelaces. It's like a leatherette ribbon. And I've cut a piece seven inches long, which we will just loop over and put under our um, sentiment. Right, I have already cut, coloured the rhino, but I will do that again for you. I won't cut it, but I will stamp one. So, to get started, we'll need our scrap for our sentiment and our piece for inside. So, Let's do our sentiment first. We're going to use balmy blue for the label. And we're going to just stamp that down. Like that. Clean it off. that for right, memento blank ink for a happy birthday and with this being photopolymer you can actually see where you're going to stamp it so we're going to stamp that just there nice and Clean that off. And then we should use the punch. And punch that out. Oh, 
a nice equal oh I had a nice equal border on each side or should I say all round and that's the way that's come out quite pretty don't need that no more don't need that no more right with some old olive ink and the leaf we're going to stamp that just up there clean the stamp Finish for that. And with the old olive blender pen, we're just colouring the leaves. And light soft suede for the branch. And then um, granny apple green light for the frog. Didn't know frogs were not trees. Well, our frog's gone up the tree. That's the inside of that. Right, need a scrap of card for the rhino. Just stamp that down. Stamp all nice and clean. Right, this rhino is a quick colour, but before we go any further, I like to open the eyes. That's all I do, it's just open his eye. Might seem a bit dark. Can you not see it there? Seem a bit dark now, but once you've coloured it in with smoky slate, I'm sure you've seen me colour these in quite a few times. Oh, I forgot. Flirty Flamingo, I usually put a dash around there. And 
and around there. Because that's the inside of its body. For its horn, I use petal pink, the very light one. And it gives off a nice light turn. And then I just coloured the bird in. Um, what does it do? Balmy blue. For the centre of each wing feather. Then I went the outside in pool party. Body I did in <coughs> crumb cake and the beak I did in pumpkin pie. And that, apart from some shading. Is it? Just go for the again. And that is how I coloured that in. And then I got the dye for the rhino and cut them out. And just cut that out like that, which is here. Bloopier fashion, I've already done it. So don't worry, that won't go to waste. I will use that on another card. So, let's put this card together. Get my glue. And glue the gingham bit on. I'm choosing to use the larger checks rather than the small check. Right to the edge. That's not right to the edge. That is. And trim it off if you have to. And then stick this on your card. Right, the giraffe, giraffe. 
Rhino I stick on with uh, dimensionals. And as you can see, this rhino was cut out of a scrap piece of paper. Need a very tiny one for the bird. Take it back and off. Place that just down there. I forgot, I never coloured the green on that one, but underneath I just put a layer of green just to ground him. Right, the sentiment also needs dimensionals, but I'm just using the scraps. and we need this. Right, to keep this in place all I did was got a glue dot and crossed it over so it's equal and stuck a glue dot on the crossover. Then I got another one stuck it on the back and laid that about there. And I got my ah oh, see what I've done here. Oh, oh it's still go down. And that is what I done. On this one, my dimensionals went either side, didn't actually go over it, whereas this one, because I use long strips, it's gone over the ribbon. It doesn't matter, it's still holding it down. And then I put oh, some gems, some little about black gems that I've got and I did three in a row down here try and keep them straight and I put two up here. And then we put the inside in.
There we are. Hope you like them. If you do, give us a thumbs up. Um, if you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And press the bell button next to it and you'll be notified of any more videos we upload, I upload. Which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.